The Martin County Sheriff's Office has closed their investigation into criminal allegations against two high ranking Port St. Lucie police officers. Now it was an anonymous complaint accused them of helping falsify student addresses so students living in St. Lucie County could play football at Martin County High School. Megan McRoberts reports why the agency will not pursue criminal charges. The sheriff tells me that after reviewing the allegations along with the Martin County School District, they found that the allegations just did not rise to a criminal level. But those allegations are still under review by the school board and the Florida High School Athletic Association to see if any of their policies were violated. An anonymous complaint that claims to be on behalf of a student athlete's parent was mailed to WPTV, and we now know the same complaint was also sent to law enforcement, which sparked an investigation. It alleged, quote, illegal recruiting of student athletes at Martin County High School perpetrated by high ranking officers of the city of Port St. Lucie Police Department named in the complaint assistant chief William Vega and his brother Sergeant Robert Vega. Both are also volunteer coaches for Martin County High School's football team according to the school district. We did no interviews. What we did though is take a look at at the paperwork that a parent would have had to sign to get their children here into the school system. And in reviewing the paperwork, neither of the Vega's names were on any documents. So if there was anything that was illegal, it was not involving uh, the two Port St. Lucie officers. And the school district did not want to press criminal charges. Without their uh, pushing the matter forward and, and maintain that there was a crime, there was really nowhere for us to go with it. While the sheriff's office is no longer involved, the Florida High School Athletic Association tells me they are currently working with the school district to address the allegations and will, quote, conduct a review to either clear Martin County High School or issue penalties if necessary based on our findings. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5. According to the Florida High School Athletic Association's policy handbook, if they were to find players were somehow recruited to the school specifically to play sports, then penalties can include forfeiting winning games to students becoming ineligible to play. Again, we want to reiterate the Martin County Sheriff says the investigation is closed. No criminal charges will be filed.